G'day guys, welcome back. Right, now I'm sorry if you're getting sick of the 3D blooms, but as you know, all my art supplies are packed up in my shed under six hire boxes and I can't get to anything, so all I've got is what I've got and it's not a lot, I'm sorry. So we'll keep going. Um, this is the new platinum art coat that I've been using. I'm going to do just these two little coasters here. This is my four round coaster mould, as you can see. <laughs> uh, 12 centimetres across they are. Now I'm going to put, I'm going to use white and I'm going to do pink. So I, I'm going to do about 20 grams of white. Actually I might do a little bit more, maybe 25. 25 grams of white and then just a little bit of the pink. It's about 10 grams for the pink. I don't need much. And I'll show you what I'm going to do in a minute. I just want like a, a little pink hue. A pink hue. Now let me see how much room I've got. Oh, pretty even. A little bit more. So resin's nice and thick. It's been sitting in the cup for 20 minutes. I took its little temperature and it's 40 degrees so I'm doing the same as I do with my other resins I get to 40 degrees and decant so that's what I've done now um yeah like I said I'm gonna do some pink and some white let's get rid of that so I'm not dropping any alcohol inks or anything into it this time see a little bubble there it's a bit of a thicker resin so it's more inclined to have bubbles but I'm hoping they'll sort of come up during the process and I can pop them all right so the mold is probably three quarters full and um, I did 75 grams of A and 67 grams of B Right, because it's a one-to-one. -one. Now, I want, it's these two here. I kind of want a shade in between those, so I'm gonna put some of this in, this pale one. I don't think it's very opaque, so I'm just going to, um, I'll just wipe the bottom, okay? And that's that one in there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that darker pink. I just want a little shimmer. As it's called, it's called a shimmer. <laughs> it's from um, Colour Passion. So just a little shimmer. So that's that one. I'll just wipe that stick, and then I'm going to put just a little bit of the the darker one in. That one's called Serendipity, and this one's a little bit darker. We'll just see how that goes. Oops, that's changed it a lot. Let me just <laughs> not use all that. I'll wipe that off. It's pretty strong. All right, there we go. Just a little pink shimmer. That's pretty. So something that'll show up against the white, but nothing that's too too dark. All right, I think that'll do. Probably a little bit darker than what I was hoping for, but never mind. All right, that's those two. So what I'm going to do with those, I'll show you in a minute. I'm just going to mix up my white. I'm going to use piping bags today. I haven't used piping bags for a while. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the Just Resin Titanium White. Give it a stir. Wipe the bottom, wipe the top, wipe the sides. And then whatever's left on is what we are using. And I don't think I'm going to use any alcohol ink today. I'm just going to put that aside. And we'll just mix this up. I just want it to be relatively transparent-ish. Okay, so what's the time now? I stopped stirring at 3.30. I decanted at 3.50. That was 25 minutes. And then I'm just going to wait and see how long it takes to get this back to 40 degrees. I know when I did my other one the other day, the dash one with the orange background, I didn't take its temperature, but I just want to just double check. Okay, 
Actually, I don't think I'm going to... Uh, am I going to pipe? Well, I might not pipe the pink one. I might just sort of pour it out of the cup. We'll see. I'm just going to wipe that stick there so I can see what this looks like. Yeah, that's pretty transparent. I probably could have wiped it a little bit more off. Okay, so... Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? It's now 3.55. So, it's been 25 minutes. So, like I said, yeah, let's just take its temperature and see what happens. When I did the dash one, I waited till 30 minutes. So, I will wait a bit longer and I might even wait to 35 minutes. We'll see. It's 37, 38. Thirty-eight six. So let me have a look at my little notes here while this is going up. Um, I started stopped mixing at three thirty. It's now three minutes to four, so we're coming up to the thirty-minute mark. Thirty-nine. I do want to just push it a little bit and wait till the thirty-five minutes. So I'm going to put you on pause and come back to you in five actually no actually I won't I won't I won't I won't because um I'm gonna wipe my little probe off I'm gonna put the pink in while I'm waiting for the white to thicken up I'm gonna just put the pink in and I'll show you what I want to do with this I wonder if it'll just kind of pour out I just want to make a little like a little swirl in the middle that's all I want to do We don't need a piping bag, really, do I? <laughs> okay, that's that one. And the next one, just like the other one. I might not even use the piping bag for the white. I might just do this. So I just wanted to have a little bit of a pink hue sort of shining through. Oops, we're going a bit thin on it. I wasn't planning on putting this much this much out actually. I wasn't, I wasn't. Just have to thicken some of these up. I was just planning on like having a little bit of pink for the the background. bubble there. Why have I got a bubble pop? You're making a mess. Let's smooth that out. Well, there we go. Uh, maybe I won't put you on pause after all, because we're pretty much there, I think. Oh, no, it's only three o'clock, so that's the 30 minute mark. just I won't use these I'll use them another time put them under the table I've got a couple of shelves under my table it's great I wonder if this one's going to be the same consistency see the thing is this had a lot of paste in it I put a lot of that pink paste in it so maybe it's thicker just not sure feels thicker Blop, blop. And then this one. It's a bit runny. Um oh look, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I'll do I'll do it other cup as well, okay? So it's just gonna go sort of over the top, not necessarily between, but just just in there somewhere, okay? Here we go. So this is this is the 30 minute mark. Here we go. I'm going to try and go in between. <laughs> I think I missed one though. I'm going to 
white on the outside. I think I missed one just there. Oh, I bet it, oh gosh, look. Oh, did I stick my finger in that? No. Oh, now I might not have enough, you guys. I thought I had plenty. It looks as if I'm going to run out. Oh, gosh. Scrape this out. Scrape it down. Oh, gosh. Come on. I can't squeeze it or anything. I'll just have to see if I can get a little bit more out. I wasn't expecting it to um, not go as far as it did. <laughs> I thought it would go a lot further. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Look, I've got some on. This is see. This is the wire piping bag's good because you can get the last little bit out of your piping bag, but you can't squeeze your cup, can you? I'm just going to see if I can get enough to go around. This is not how I wanted to do it, but. Is what it is. I'm going to make sure that my piping is thick enough. Okay, so next time I know I need to make up more. It's been so long since I've done the circles, the little rings. I feel very out of practice. But yeah, when you're doing the um, piping bag, you can get right out. You can push the last little bit out of your piping bag. You can't necessarily do that with this. All right, so next time I'm going to make up more white. Full 30 grams, one ounce. Because I think I only did like 20, 25. Maybe I need even more than 30. Okay, so that's that. I kind of got around as best as I could. <laughs> Can't get any more out. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so now I'm going to use my little stick and I'm going to pull the colours through. Just clean these sticks off so I can use them again. Okay, there we go. Clean up my mess. So I'm going to use my little stick to pull the, you know, to make the petals because I haven't done it for so long. And um, yeah, I just wanted to see if this resin kind of works the same as the other resin. Just be with me while I clean up. It's much easier to do while the resin's wet. Okay. Phew. I'm still taping you guys, so you're still with me. I feel as if I've maybe put a little bit too, too much of the pink in. I only wanted like a little shimmer. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I kind of feel as if it's a little bit much. But look, that doesn't matter. It just means I get to do it again. All right, so I'll torch first. So I see some bubbles. So these coasters are really quite full now. And um, I'll do the swirl later. So uh, I'm going to go in at... 12, 6, 3, 9, and then out. Okay, and then I'll do a swirl later. So when you put pull your stick through, don't go all the way to the the center. In oops. In I mean you can, it doesn't really matter because um you're gonna swirl it anyway, so may do may split the difference actually and just do a few more here yeah, I will and then I'll go out and that should hide any little mistakes that I've made with my my terrible piping there well it wasn't exactly piping was it it's cupping okay so now out it's a bit tricky again because 
that's so full. So you can go, you can actually touch the, the corner of your mold, not the corner, but your edge of your mold, like that. Just go gently, there's no rush. This resin has a 70 minute work time, seven zero. So it's got quite a good work time on it. So just touch the corner there, the edge, you know what I mean. This one's got a lot more white in it. So I used up most of my white on this first one and there wasn't much left for the second one. Okay, that's it. Doesn't matter if you go over your mold, you can come back and clean it later on. Alrighty. So now what, all, what's left to do is just the little swirl and I'm going to go from outside in and start about there and up and hopefully I'm in the middle. So this, yeah, you can see this one's got a lot more white in it. So it'll be interesting to see how they, they differ. This one's got, see this one's got pink on the edge there. And this one I had enough white to go around the outside, but this one I ran out, so I've got some pink on the outside there. Throw that out. And clean up everything, you know the drill. Clean everything and then take your gloves off. I just squirt some alcohol into my gloves and then I can clean my gloves as well. Um, and then I can use them again. So let me just get my gloves off. <laughs> Easier said than done sometimes. Especially when you've used them a few times. So they're hard to get on and off. Oh, it's looking good so far, you guys. Even though I didn't really want that much pink. Because <laughs> I just wanted like a little hint of pink and I'm hoping that because there's I hope there's not too much pink that you can't see the, the white petals on the other side. That's my only concern, is that um, I'll put too much pink on and then when you flip it over, we're not going to see the white. But this side looks pretty. So, <laughs> I guess we could always use this side. Alright, um, we'll bring you down for a close-up. Make sure I'm not going to trip over everything. Look at, look at this. I'm working in a work site. Site. That was my little bench set up. That's all I've got. And it's dusty and it's dirty and it echoes, but it's mine. That's what I'm using. So I'm just going to turn this ring light down. And there we go. That looks really pretty. I guess even if it doesn't work on the other side, this side is really pretty. But I am hoping that we'll be able to see the white through. Hoping I've made it dense enough that it can sink through. But if not, hey, I just get to do it again. All right, so that was, where are you? That was the Dark Pink by Colour Passion. And then that one was the lighter one, Serendipity. There you go. All right, um, no room for a top coat at all. They are full, full to the brim. So I will see you tomorrow for the grand unmolding, but they look as if they're blooming. Yay! See you soon. So it's the next day and uh, let's get these babies out, shall we? I hope we can see the white through all that pink. <laughs> I have a feeling I made it a little bit too dense. Uh, we shall see. Move that out of the way of that mould. All right. Now, I've got my little piece of black card just to put over the back. Now, should we do... This is the one I think is probably going to be a little bit better because that one I ran out of white. So let's have a look at this one first. Just pop that over there. Tiny little bit of overflow. Look at that. Scratch it off. There we go. Go on, skis. All right. Here we go. Let's have a look. Please work. <laughs> oh, no way. 
<gasps> it's perfect. Wow. Look at the shimmer. See the shimmer? That's exactly what I wanted. That little hint of shimmer. I mean, albeit it's probably a little bit too much pink in there, but that is exactly what I wanted. Wow, look at the center. And we've got one, it's a white. I've got one, two, three, four, it's probably five rows of white. I can't remember exactly what I did. And with the pink, like, I didn't want it to look like a petal, like a ring so much. I just wanted it to look like a, a slightly pinky haze. Oh, there it is. Look, it's so pretty. Love it. All right, let's have a look without. That's it without the black. It closed up so well. It's just, look, there's a tiny little area there that um, didn't close up. All right, that one's really pretty. Let's do the next one. Now, this one... I ran out of white so it's probably going to be a lot more pink all right here we go yes it is a lot more pink it's still pretty though but um yeah i i prefer it to have a little bit more white so i'll do it again um even this one i feel as if it's got a little bit too much pink in it because when I did my swirls, I did a lot of pink swirls. I should have just done half the amount. So definitely we'll do them again just to get that little shimmer, shimmer. It's pretty, isn't it? Shimmer, shimmer. And the swirl in the center. So pretty. All right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that little video. Something a bit different for you. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay, take care. <laughs> Bye for now.